The urinary system plays an integral role in regulating fluid balance on our body, regulating our blood pressure. Oh. I knew I should have went to the bathroom before recording this. Like I was saying, the urinary system plays a huge role in regulating the fluids in our body, regulating our body's blood pressure and blood volume, regulating the pH or the acidity of our blood, and lots of other things like getting rid of waste. In this video, we're gonna focus on the anatomy of the urinary system, where everything's located, and we'll spend a little bit of time talking about the physiology, what happens in the different parts of the urinary system. So let's jump to the whiteboard and get started. So let's start off with the kidneys. The kidneys are gonna be the main organ of the urinary system. They're gonna be the organ that's actually filtering things out from the blood and producing all of the urine that we make. That allows us to regulate lots of things, such as our blood volume, our blood pressure, which is super important, regulating the pH or the acidity of our blood, regulating the ions that are in our blood, and just getting rid of things that we don't want to be in our bloodstream anymore, getting rid of waste from our blood. And so the kidneys are where all of that takes place. The kidneys will decide what do we bring out of the blood, what do we put back into the blood to make sure that our blood pressure, volume, pH, all of those things stay at normal, homeostatically healthy levels. Now sitting just above or superior to the kidneys are the little kidney hats, I mean adrenal glands, which I still think look like party hats for the kidneys. And the adrenal glands aren't generally considered part of the urinary system, they just happen to be right on top of the kidneys, so it's hard to not include them in a diagram. They're part of the endocrine system, they make cortisol, adrenaline, and other hormones that help regulate our stress response and other functions throughout the body. On the other side of my diagram, I'm gonna draw a cross section of a kidney. That way we can see kind of inside the kidney how things are organized there. We'll talk a little bit about kidney anatomy in this video. Now I keep saying that the kidneys filter the blood. Well if that's the case we have to have some blood coming into the kidneys. So I'm going to draw a couple arteries on here to show the blood coming into the kidneys. First I have labeled the descending aorta. That's going to come out of the heart and then come down and it's going to pass right by the kidneys. So blood is going to be traveling down the descending aorta. And two more branches that I have drawn are called the common iliac arteries. So I've got the left and the right common iliac artery. Those are gonna go down into the legs. And there's lots of other branches of arteries that I didn't draw on here just for simplicity's sake. But one branch that we are concerned about here is gonna be called the renal artery. And the renal artery is gonna be a branch off the aorta that goes to the kidneys, basically to deliver blood to the kidneys to be filtered. So as blood leaves the heart, it travels down the descending aorta, and some of that blood will travel through the left renal artery, some will travel through the right renal artery, and into the kidneys. Now at this point, you've heard me say renal a few times, one for the adrenal glands and one for the renal artery. Renal just means kidney, and so our adrenal glands are actually named for being next to, that's what ad means, and kidney, which is what renal means. So renal is the Latin word for kidney. We also have nephro, which we'll see sometimes like a nephrologist, a kidney doctor, or nephron, which are the functional units that actually filter out the blood in these different parts of the kidney here. We'll take a little bit closer look at those in a second. So renal is Latin for kidney. Nephro is Greek for kidney. If you see any of those terms, just know we're referring to something related to the kidneys. Now we have blood coming into the kidneys, so we have to have blood coming out of the kidneys. So I'm gonna draw in some veins here. The main vein that we have here is the inferior vena cava, which is gonna bring blood back up to the heart so it can get pumped to the lungs and so forth. We have the common iliac vein, which are these two branches at the bottom that go into either of the two legs, and so those are gonna be bringing blood up to the inferior vena cava. And connected to the kidneys, we're gonna have the renal veins. The renal veins are gonna take blood that's been filtered from the kidney and bring that back into the vena cava so it can circulate back up to the heart. So if we look at the path of blood flow here, blood will travel down the aorta, through either renal artery, through these smaller branches into the kidneys, it'll get filtered out, and then it's gonna return through these renal veins, back to here, then to the vena cava, and then back up to the heart. So blood coming in, blood coming out, and of course we also need waste coming out, or a place for the urine to go. And again, urine's just gonna be fluid and other waste that's filtered out of the bloodstream. So whenever you pee, that came from your blood. And it's not red because it doesn't have red blood cells in it, but it's fluid from your blood. So in order to collect that urine and bring it to the outside of the body, we've got things called ureters. The ureters are just little tubes that are gonna come from the kidney and travel down to the bladder. You've got one on either side, one for each kidney that's collecting the urine, bringing it down to the bladder. All right, let's take a little closer look at the kidneys here. When the blood comes in through the renal arteries, it's gonna travel up through here and we've got two kind of regions of the kidney here. The outside of the kidney is called the renal cortex. Anytime you see the word cortex, it just means the outside. 
So this kind of dark pink in the kidney, that's all the renal cortex. And speaking of cortex, in the adrenal gland, this outer part, this outer layer is gonna be the adrenal cortex. So cortex just means outer layer. So the blood comes in through this part of the renal cortex called the renal column into the renal cortex here. And in this light pink area, which is called the renal medulla, that's where the actual filtration is gonna be happening. The renal medulla is also often called the renal pyramids because they're sort of triangular shaped and they contain nephrons, which is where filtration happens. Now, if you look at the end of the sections of renal medulla or the renal pyramids, you'll see that it connects to little yellow spaces right there. Those are gonna be called the calyx and the calyx are gonna be collecting ducts for the urine that we filtered out of the blood. So the urine will travel through this yellow area, collect together, and then exit down through the ureter to head to the bladder. Anything that's not filtered out is gonna travel through the blue tubes here, which are gonna be the renal vein, and then back to the heart. And of course, those tubes aren't actually blue, that's just to represent low oxygen blood. Okay, so we've filtered out wastes and fluid and everything. Those have traveled down the ureters, and then now we're here at the bladder. And the bladder is just gonna be a collecting place for the urine so we can keep it somewhere until we're ready to get rid of it. One interesting thing about the bladder is that the ureter actually connects to the bladder at the bottom. It doesn't connect at the top. It wraps around sort of behind and connects at the bottom of the bladder. Now the bladder is very stretchy. It's got what we call transitional epithelium, which means that the cells can change shape as the bladder stretches. Now leaving the bladder is one final tube called the urethra. In female anatomy, the urethra is going to exit out through the vulva area. And in male anatomy, the urethra will pass through the penis to the outside of the body. Now we wanna be able to control when we urinate. And so we're gonna have a couple sphincters which will help us do that. We've got the internal urethral sphincter and the external urethral sphincter. And just like the anal sphincters, the difference between the two is that the internal urethral sphincter is involuntarily controlled. It's sort of always closed. We don't have to think about it. And the external urethral sphincter, we can consciously control it. So whenever you need to pee and you feel you need to pee, but you're holding it in, you're using your external urethral sphincter. All right, let's do a quick recap of that. We have blood that'll travel down the descending aorta, and some of that blood will go through the renal arteries. From the renal arteries, it'll branch off and go into the renal cortex and then to the renal medulla, where it's gonna get filtered out by nephrons into these collecting ducts down into the ureter. All the blood that doesn't get filtered out and become urine is gonna travel back to the heart through the renal vein and then the vena cava. Everything that did get filtered out, which is now our urine, is gonna pass down the ureter into the bladder where the ureter connects at the bottom of the bladder. The urine will stay in the bladder until we're ready to expel it by urinating. And so then we'll relax the urethral sphincters and the urine will travel down through the urethra to the outside of the body. All right, so here we have a human kidney let me turn it over real quick. And there's the cross section of the kidney. Here we can see the ureter coming out of the kidney. These are gonna be the calyxes or the branches. They're gonna collect the urine and bring that down to the ureter. We also have some renal blood vessels here and you can see those branching out going to the different parts of the kidney. We can follow the ureter down here to the bladder. And in this model, there's a catheter going up into the bladder. And you can see inside the bladder, it's sort of wavy like that. And this, the bladder is gonna be really stretchy, like I said, so that it can expand whenever it collects with urine. Just below the bladder, we have the prostate gland. So this would have been from a male patient um, with the prostate gland, which is just below the bladder. And the urethra actually travels through the prostate gland. So there's the kidney, ureter, bladder, and then the urethra will exit down from the bottom. Okay, here we have a 3D model of the urinary system. We've got the descending aorta right here, the renal artery on either side. We have the renal vein, which is coming out of the kidneys and bringing the blood back to the vena cava and up to the heart. We have the adrenal gland, the kidney. This is gonna be the ureter, which is gonna collect the urine and bring it down to the bladder. So here's the bladder. And if I open up the bladder, we can see down there, there's where the urethra will be. And that urethra will connect to the outside of the body. If I come back up to the kidney here, we can see the renal pyramids, which are part of the renal medulla and then the renal cortex, which is gonna be the outside part here, where we see all those blood vessels kind of wrapping around. This is gonna be the calyx, which is gonna collect the urine so they can travel down into the ureter there. And if we wanna get really up close to the kidney, we've got another model here. This is the renal pyramids. These are gonna be the nephrons that I talked about. And you can see all the blood vessels where it comes in through the renal column to the renal cortex and then down to the renal medulla where the nephrons are, where that blood gets filtered and becomes the urine, which is collected in these calyxes and then down through the ureter.
All right, take a minute, pause the video, see if you can identify all of the parts as well as all the arteries and veins that I have labeled on the diagram. All right, here are those labels again, so you can check and see what you knew and what you still need to practice. Papa. Yeah, bladder, where's the kidney? Kidney. Kidney, the kidney's up here. The kidney's right there. Can you point to the kidney? Okay. Where's the bladder? Good job, where's the kidney? Good job. You're learning so much.